Hello, the paper I am presenting is Progressive Open Space Expansion for Open Set Model Attribution. In this paper, we aim to solve the problem of model attribution, which means identify the source model of generated contents. Existing works are limited to close to set model attribution and cannot handle unknown models. In our work, we propose to solve open set model attribution to attribute images to known models and identify those from unknown ones. Our solution is to progressively simulate the potential open space of unknown models with a set of lightweight augmentation models. Training a new augmentation model, the objective is to expand the simulated open space with diversity. For training the feature extractor and classification head, the objectives are two aspects. The first is non-class classification, and the second is to distinguish augmented data from loan data and separate different loan and augmented classes. The comparisons with the attribution and off-the-shelf open set recognition methods verify the effectiveness of our method. Next, I will give more detailed introduction to our paper. To solve the open-set model attribution problem, an intuitive way is to adopt existing open-set recognition methods. This works mainly follow a discriminative or generative line. From the discriminative line, the typical routine is to firstly train a closed set classifier and then calibrate the confidence to a reasonable distribution. However, the performance heavily depends on the closed set classifier. The learned feature space is not rectified for the open-set samples. From the generative line, some works threshold the reconstruction error as an open set indicator. However, for the open set model attribution problem, fingerprint reconstruction error is too subtle to be thresholded. Other works directly simulate the open data for training. These generators are mainly used to generate lower semantics, unable to produce diverse open set fingerprints by its fixed width and architecture. In our paper, we propose a solution named Progressive Open Space Expansion. The key idea is progressively simulating the potential open space of other models with a set of lightweight augmentation models. The augmentation models are trained progressively one at an epoch, simulating the open space by converting loan data to augmented data. For training a new Augmentation model, the objective is to ensure that the simulated open space could be expanded with diversity. We apply a pixel reconstruction loss to control the visual consistency and a diversity loss to enlarge the difference between new and old augmented data in the embedding space. The diversity loss contains two terms. The first term is to enlarge the embedding distance of new and old augmented data. Simply increasing the distance without direction would produce trivial samples, also far from the loan data. Hence, we apply another term to narrow the embedding distance of new augmented data and loan data. Since visualized open space expansion progress, the diversity loss increases the diversity of open space simulated by different augmentation models. For training the feature extractor and the classification head, the objectives are two aspects. The first is non-class classification. We apply a cross-entropy loss for this objective. The second objective is to distinguish augmented data from loan data and separate different loan and augmented classes. Different from existing works, taking all simulated open set samples as a single open class, we assign different labels to augmented data from different loan classes as they carry different hybrid fingerprints. We apply a metric loss to separate different classes. We construct a data set for evaluation. There are four groups of data, seen real, seen fake, unseen real, and unseen fake. Seen and unseen means whether images in this group are used for training or not. The unseen fake includes unseen models trained with partly the same settings with seen fake ones, but with different seeds, architecture, or training data sets. The training set contains seen real and seen fake. In the testing set, the closed set contains not only seen real, seen real and seen fake, but also unseen real. The unseen fake are all taken as open set classes. We compare against three, group, three groups of baselines, GAN attribution, GAN discovery, and open set recognition methods. In testing, the image is fed into the feature extractor and classification head, getting predicted confidence scores for each class after a soft max function. In practice, if the max, max score is larger than the threshold, the image is recognized as a loan category corresponding to the index of the score. Otherwise, it is detected as unloan. 
for evaluation or it follow works in open set recognition to evaluate by accuracy, AUC, and OSCR. When compared with scan attribution methods, our method outperforms existing methods in terms of closed set classification and open set discrimination. Our method is also superior than off the shelf open set recognition methods, which indicates that the simulated open space by pulse is more suitable for open set model attribution than off the shelf open set recognition methods. We also compare with a recently proposed GAN discovery method. The result shows that pulse is better in all model clustering. In the ablation study, applying augmentation models in training largely increased open set recognition performance. Applying the diversity loss gains false improvements. We plot the open set recognition performance along with the training epochs. We can observe that without the diversity loss, the performance converges at early epochs, while with the diversity loss added, the performance increase, increases continually until about 19 epochs. The feature space visualization shows with the diversity loss added, the diversity of open space simulated by different augmentation models is largely increased. We also give an ablation study on the architecture of augmentation models. The best option is to use two layers of convolution with class size equals to three. We gave two visualization examples to clarify the effects of augmented data. As seen, the augmented data simulates a rich open space enclosing the alone data, resulting in better open set discrimination. In summary, in this paper, we propose a new task named open set model attribution and propose a lower solution for this problem by simulating the potential open space progressively with lightweight augmentation models. We construct a data set considering thin real, thin fake, unseen real, and three types of unseen fake. The evaluations show that our method is superior than existing model attribution methods and off the shelf open set recognition methods. For future works, it is promising to construct a unified framework for architecture and model level attribution and move from model attribution to model retrieval and model language analysis.